The UK is the fifth fattest nation in Europe. So who's fatter than us? Well, I believe it's Fatvia, Lardinia, <laughs> Slovenia and the Porkney Islands. <laughs> A recent study revealed Taiwan is the best country in the world for expats. My auntie is now an expat. He calls himself Chris. Never been happier. <laughs> Hello and welcome to 8 out of 10 Cats, a show all about opinion polls, surveys and statistics. Did you know, for example, 17% of adults don't class sexting as cheating? I love sexting. Nothing turns me on more than reading the phrase, who dis? <laughs> 47% of people think boy racers are the worst type of drivers, and that's a survey of people who have never seen your mum park in a disabled bay and then do one of her funny walks into Sainsbury's. <laughs> and 80% of people say they always visit cultural attractions when on holiday, although that drops to just 20% when you explain that watching someone shoot ping-pong balls out of their foof is not technically <laughs> a cultural attraction. <laughs> Did you know, for example, 7% of drivers have gone to court over a speeding incident? It happened to me. I tried to explain, yes, I was speeding at one point, but to be fair, hitting those pensioners slowed me right down. 5% <laughs> of people have worn the same pair of jeans for the last 10 years, and we call those people dads. <laughs> And 43% of British women don't get enough sleep. Well, ladies, trust me, if you go to bed with me, you will. <laughs> well, let's have a look and see if Storm Angus is up there. Yeah. Yes, it's Storm Angus. <laughs> so those were the nation's most popular talking points. But in other news, Donald Trump has said this week that he's as liberal and tolerant as the next man. Unfortunately, the man he was standing next to was Nigel Farage. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's see if the Liberty Deaths are up there. Of course. Yes, 2016 was a bad year for celebrity deaths. Victoria Wood, Carolina Hearn, Paul Daniels and Terry Wogan all sadly died. It's like the Grim Reaper is stalking Britain's most beloved celebrities. So if you're watching, Mr Motivator, I think you'll be all right. 51% <laughs> of people say they'll take their next holiday alone. My girlfriend will. She doesn't know yet, but she will. <laughs> One in six British grandparents plan to spend all their savings before they die. So, kill them now. <laughs> and 90% of people are happy in their own company. Wankers. <laughs> Did you know, for example, 8% of people have seen their neighbours naked? I know I have. It was so annoying. I had to wait hours. <laughs> British workers lose 29 million days a year to hay fever. Of course, hay fever doesn't affect all British workers, just those in certain fields. <laughs> and pigs can run at a speed of 11 miles per hour. Unfortunately for pigs, what can run at 12 miles per hour is David Cameron. <laughs> I'm not sure. I, th I think the drugs have just kicked in. <laughs> Well, I can tell you the ban on junk food ads is not one of the most talked about things this week. Junk food ads aimed at children are to be banned online. A study's found a third of children are obese, and that third is hanging over the top of their trousers. <laughs> OK, well, let's have a look and see if uh, Donald Trump is up there. <laughs> yes, the US election, the most talked about thing. Donald Trump says he'll replace Obama's healthcare system, so Obamacare will now become <laughs> Donald doesn't care. <laughs> of course, the thing we like most about Christmas is spending time with family. Nothing beats the feeling you get when your family arrive on Christmas Eve, except the feeling you get when they fuck off again on Boxing Day. <laughs> Yes, it's Strictly Come Dancing. Ed Balls is the latest in a long line of comedy bookings for Strictly that have included Anne Whittakam, John Sargent and Russell Grant. Well, they call them comedy bookings. Viewers know them as the fat shit ones. <laughs> Strictly judge Darcy Bustle is Britain's best-loved ballet dancer. Well, I say that. She's our only ballet dancer. That's like saying Stephen Hawking is the nation's favourite wheelchair-bound cosmologist. <laughs> He's not done the show. Um, <laughs> he's been on a Strictly cruise. He's mad keen on Strictly. Yeah, actually. he absolutely loves it. Well, he does love the stars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Fun. Um, OK. All right. Well, I can tell you it's extremely close, but the answer is yes. 52% oh, yeah. of our studio audience can live without their smartphone. You're 
I could absolutely live without a smartphone. All I need is a landline that's portable with Wi-Fi and Facebook and games and my diary and grinder. <laughs> I can tell you the answer is false. Only 14% of people have a party trick. Yeah, that's very wrong. <laughs> I have a great party trick. No matter where they tell me the party is, I always find out the real address. <laughs> yes, the most talked about thing. Yes, it's the US presidential election. Trump or Clinton? It's the political equivalent of being asked, would you prefer to fuck your mum or give your dad a blowing? <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look and see whether the presidential election is up there. Yes, Donald Trump is the new president. I must say, as apprentice tasks go, Trump's really nailed this one. Hillary's currently sitting in a cafe, crying into a cup of tea, trying to work out who she's going to bring back into the boardroom. <laughs> Did you know, for example, 7% of British people have sexted the wrong person? I know I have. And if you're watching, sorry, Mum. <laughs> Christmas. Yes, it is. Christmas dinner. Alternatives to Christmas dinner include goose, reindeer steaks, and crying into a microwave lasagna for one. <laughs> well, let's have a look and see if Lester are up there. <laughs> yes, it's true. Against all the odds, despite what everyone thought, Leicester City managed to do the impossible and make me give a shit about football for a day. <laughs> Did you know, for example, 15% of Britain's native species are at risk of extinction? I love seeing our wonderful animals, foxes, badgers and hedgehogs in their natural habitat, jumping up and down on a trampoline in someone's back garden. 77% <laughs> of men get down on one knee when they propose. It's a meaningless tradition, but some people still like marriage. <laughs> yes. yes, it's Nigel Farage. Some people think Nigel Farage hates Remainers, but that's not true. You're thinking of Romanians. <laughs> well, I can tell you that Pokemon Go is not one of the most talked about things of the last year. Pokemon Go is a completely new gaming concept which has revolutionised the way children have their phones stolen in parks. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look and see if I'm a celebrity's up there. Okay. Yes, it's I'm a celebrity! In the jungle this year are celebrities Adam Thomas, Sam Quek and Jordan Banjo. Let's just say on launch night, Google had to lay on extra staff. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Well, I can tell you the answer is no. Only 38% of our studio audience believe in ghosts. <laughs> are ghosts real? Well, on the one hand, you've got scientists like Richard Dawkins and Stephen Hawkins saying no. On the other hand, you've got Derek Okora and Mystic Meg. I don't know who to believe. <laughs> <laughs> 10% of European babies are conceived on an IKEA bed, so be sure to follow the instructions. Put peg A into slot B and then screw until the nuts tighten. <laughs> Salad drawers in fridges contain 8,000 bacteria per square centimetre. And for viewers in Scotland, the salad drawer is the bit at the bottom of the fridge where you keep your emergency lager. <laughs> 20% of people admit to preparing a meal just to photograph it for social media. It sounds weird, but to be honest, I'm like that with my erections. <laughs> I'm going to give you that. The top way to let someone know you fancy them is uh, giving them lots of eye contact. <laughs> yes, the best way to let someone know you fancy them is eye contact. When a girl looks at me, I can tell in a flash what she's thinking. She's thinking, I wish she'd stop flashing me. <laughs> Shall we have a look and see if the Euros is up there? Yes, it's Euro 2016. <laughs> England were beaten by Minnows Iceland. To put that into perspective, it's like a 21-ton articulated lorry getting run over by a hedgehog. <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> yes, it's Christmas presents. But there's nothing that shows your gratitude for a gift more than those three magic words. Got the receipt. Yes, Game of Thrones. <laughs> Game of Thrones, of course, has a very broad appeal. It doesn't matter if you enjoy seeing a dragon lady with her boobs out in a tent, a witch with her boobs out near a bonfire, or an evil queen with her boobs out in a castle. There's something for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so those were the most talked about TV shows of the last year, but in other TV news, Richard Jones won Britain's Got Talent in May, becoming the first magician to be crowned champion, and he lived up to his promise. Since then, he's completely disappeared. <laughs> The Jump was back for a third series. With so many injuries, it's easier to think of The Jump as the Christmas special of 24 hours in A&E. <laughs>
And yeah. Casualty celebrated its 30th anniversary. I can't have been the only one who got worried when I saw them going up that wobbly stepladder to hang the bunting. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's have a look and see if Donald Trump's one of the most talked about things. Of course. <laughs> yes, it's Donald Trump, President-elect. Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson said there was a lot to be positive about following Trump's victory. Yeah, especially if you're a big fan of sexual assault and racism. <laughs> you. Yes, it's the Brexit High Court judgment. Boris Johnson looked shocked, confused and dishevelled. Then he was told the news. <laughs> OK, well, yeah. I can tell you the answer is, in fact, true. 70% of people would lie yeah. to avoid yeah. offending oh, a friend. Yeah. We have standards for yeah. 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 I think honesty is the best policy. So, if you're watching Steve, I'm fucking your mum. <laughs> of course. Yes, Andy Murray won his second Wimbledon title. Where would we be without Andy Murray? Sitting on a hill, half-heartedly shouting, come on, Tim. <laughs> well, I can tell you, Justin Bieber is not one of the most talked about things. Oh! Yeah. Wow. For the rest of his tour, Justin Bieber will be driven round in a car with bulletproof glass, just so he doesn't shoot any of his fans. <laughs> Three horses in the UK are lame, so you might think horses are cool, but actually a third of them pretty lame. <laughs> <laughs> and 40% of people in Middlesbrough say they wouldn't buy a property without a front garden, of course, because they need somewhere to keep their fridge. <laughs> Black Friday is fast becoming a tradition in this country. Christmas isn't Christmas if you haven't seen two fat women in Hartlepool fighting over a Nutribullet they're never going to use. 26% <laughs> percent of new mums worry about their social life changing, so you lose the chance to hang out with the girls, drink Prosecco and have a good old gossip, but on the other hand, you've got sick down your top, your house stinks of baby shit and your boobs ache, so swings and roundabouts. <laughs> Ten thousand birds die each year crashing in windows. Hey, birds, get with it. Maybe it's time you got a Mac. <laughs> that is a silly joke. <laughs> and 17% of women want a partner who likes their cooking better than their mums. I'll admit my girlfriend's cooking is much better than my mum's, but when it comes to blowjobs... <laughs> Well, I can tell you the Grand Tour is not one of the most talked about things. But in the Grand Tour, there are car stunts and challenges like normal, but the most dangerous part is when someone offers Clarkson a salad. <laughs> yes, Britain voted for Brexit. Brexit will have a lot of repercussions. If all the Eastern European workers go home, just imagine the mountain of ironing, the backlog of DIY jobs, and Keith Vaz might have to fuck his wife for a change. <laughs> A couple of rent boys. Yeah, and I can say that because he definitely did it. <laughs> All right, Keith. <laughs> Morally repugnant, am I? <laughs> <laughs> Have a fucking word, mate. Have a word. <laughs> Let's take a look and see if I'm celebrities up there. Oh. Yes! So I'm a celebrity. The bush tuck of food on this series will include kangaroo anus, crocodile penis and camel toe, because Carol Vorderman wears her shorts too tight. <laughs> Jimothy Carl! <laughs> what? Put your bloody hair shirt on! <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said, the answer is true. 57% of people wish their life was more exciting. Yeah. You're never too old to try something exciting. My nan recently took up base jumping. Well, I say base jumping, she slipped off a balcony. <laughs> well, I say slipped, I pushed her. <laughs> Thanks for the house, nan. <laughs> I can tell you the answer is false. Only 41% of people find tattoos attractive. <laughs> There are five main types of tattoo, tribal, Japanese, prison, stag do and shit. <laughs> Did you know, for example, the Bible actually gives no date for Jesus' birthday, so Mary and Joseph probably just said it was December 25th, so they didn't have to buy him two sets of presents. <laughs> the average Brit takes 15 hours to finish their Christmas shopping, which begs the question, just how far do they live from the all-night garage? <laughs> And 
52% of British people eat twice their recommended calorie intake every Christmas day. And that fact also works if you remove the word Christmas. <laughs> of course it is. Most talked about TV show. Yes, the great British Bake Off. Many people ask, what's the secret of 81-year-old Mary Berry's longevity? Well, she spends every day standing next to a hot oven, where winter simply can't get her. <laughs> Yes, Sex Factor! <laughs> Snoop Dogg has stepped in to defend Honey G, calling her the greatest X Factor act of all time. Proof, if proof were needed, that Snoop Dogg still loves getting really high. <laughs> <laughs> Number three. Yes, it's Jeremy Corbyn! In June, a motion of no confidence against Jeremy Corbyn was passed, but Corbyn wasn't worried. At his age, you get used to unwanted motions being passed all the time. <laughs> Did you know, for example, 15% of people say carbon monoxide detectors are too expensive? Yeah, I love my kids, but not 12 quid's worth. <laughs> a recent study revealed Taiwan is the best country in the world for expats. My auntie is now an expat. He calls himself Chris. Never been happier. <laughs> and 85% of women wash their hands after going to the toilet. Why are you washing your hands, ladies? Surely what you should be washing is your bum and your fanny. <laughs> I can tell you it's close, but the answer is false. Only 40% of people would rather spend time with their pets. Yeah. Pets are better than friends. You try finding a friend who'll lick Marmite off your testicles for a biscuit <laughs> and tell no one. Should we have a look and see if the supermoon's up there? Yeah, everyone's talking about the supermoon. <laughs> the moon hasn't been this close to Earth since 1948. But hey, Earth, if you really like the moon, you should have done what Saturn did and put a ring on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I can tell you the answer is no. Only 37% yeah. of our studio audience would like to go to the school reunion. <laughs> I had a geography teacher that used to fancy me, but she said, I'm going to wait till you finish school. And at half past three, she fucked me. Yes, the biggest teenage regret is worrying about other people's opinions. I never worry about what people think of me. If I did, I'd probably dye my hair every week and have my teeth painted white. <laughs> is it just to roll over and go to sleep? No, the opposite of that. You're the that best. was the best I've ever had. We'll give it to you. The best way to compliment a man is to tell him he's good in bed. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, the best way to compliment a man is to tell him he's good in bed. When it comes to sex, I pride myself on making sure any woman I'm with has the most satisfying and fulfilling seven seconds of her life. <laughs> uh, the worst thing you can do on a date is talk about your ex. Yeah! <laughs> yes, the worst thing you can do on a date is talk about your ex. That's why when I'm on a first date, I always just complain about my current girlfriend. <laughs> yes, the most annoying thing about sharing a house is cleaning up after other people. Wow. Yeah. Me and my girlfriend share the household chores 50-50. I do the ironing, dusting and washing up, and she has sex with me. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you it's close, but 55% of our audience would be more excited to wake up on Christmas morning. Oh. <laughs> my favourite Star Wars character is C-3PO, a closeted homosexual robot with no genitals. It's like looking in a mirror. <laughs> I can tell you Love Island is not one of the most talked about TV shows of the last year, oh. but if you've never seen Love Island, the concept is very simple. 25 people enter a villa and then each other. <laughs> yes, contestants are sure to find love on Love Island if what they mean by love is a strange burning sensation in their genitals. <laughs> The case for Brexit's been presented to the Supreme Court. If it gets through, the next stage is judges' houses. <laughs> then if the judges can't decide, Dermot O'Leary takes it to deadlock. <laughs> OK. Should we have a look and see if the Olympics is up there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's the Rio Olympics. Britain triumphed at the Olympics. Team GB brought back 27 goals, 23 silver, 17 bronze and the Zika virus. <laughs> It's I'm a Celebrity. I'm a
Famous Celebrity finished after three amazing weeks. During the eating trials, contestants had to eat things like camel nipples, cockroaches and pig genitals. No wonder mm. Scarlett Moffat was good at it. That's pretty much the ingredients of every Newcastle kebab. <laughs> The Denver Broncos won this year's Super Bowl. I'm not saying American football is boring, but to liven up, they had Coldplay perform halfway through. <laughs> and Cheryl is currently dating Liam Payne. At 33, you could say that Cheryl's old enough to be his mum, but she's from Newcastle, so she's actually old enough to be his nan. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed those clips. Uh, if you want to watch full episodes of 8 Out of 10 Cats, then you can on my YouTube channel. Um, just, you know, search for it on YouTube and you'll find it because it's there.